This episode contains scenes suggestive of a sexual or domestic assault. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, I am Bams, and I am your storyteller, and I am joined by my wonderful cast. And hi, I'm Super Cookie. I am playing Coco. In what is no stranger... Portia or Coco, as she prefers. She got home to her apartment, doesn't know how, but had an awesome party the night before. And as you wake up, you wake up a little earlier than what you usually do, and you will notice that you don't have any of your post-party hangover that you usually do when you go out and experiment. I love that. Ugh, I haven't woke up feeling like so good in ages. Normally I wake up, I'm all like achy and painy and everything hurts and my stomach hurts and I have to like, you know, take my meds or whatever, if you know what I mean. But how's my costume? Because I spent a lot of time working on that. Fine. No signs of it being ripped or torn or anything like that. Nothing. You didn't even puke all over it. Did I sleep in it last night? You woke up in it. I must just be lucky this year, I guess. I mean, Carol fucking Jackson, right? Right. So I'm going to definitely gingerly take it off, do and inspect to make sure that I didn't lose any of you know the things that I put on it to make it so fancy. And then clean it up a little bit and just hang it. Sure. I assume you're planning on reusing it for the actual Halloween party that you may have on Halloween or going out or any of that stuff. Yeah, I might tweak a couple things because it was kind of hard to dance in. So I kind of got a plan on that a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let it out here, tuck it in there, just other associated tailoring terms that I don't know. Yeah, and maybe I should practice my dancing because I want to nail it next time just gotta dance yeah i mean i had fun i just i don't know did jade spend the night is she here no she is not there she is presumably at her own apartment well it's still early yet I don't really want to bother her, but I'm just going to like send her a quick little text message that she can wake up to, letting her know that, that I got home okay. And that's it. Hopefully she'll get at me like later. Are you just going to like mosey around the apartment, breakfast, cleaning up? I am turning some music on and opening the windows. And I am going to sing badly while I get myself together. I'm definitely going to take some of my meds because, you know, just because I feel good doesn't mean that I shouldn't. Feel better. Yeah. Exactly. So we got a 80s style montage throwing open the windows, maybe a little like slide in on the floor dancing. Yes. <laughs> Terrible. An hour or two will go by, and you'll receive a text from your good friend Jade saying that she also got home. Then what are you doing today? Like, what do you – does your costume need repair? Do we need to fix that? Do you need any adjustments? She will hit you back with, today I'm recovering because, you know, we partied real hardy last night, and I'm fucking feeling it. And, uh. I think I have some adjustments, but I gotta, you know, my stash is getting a little low. Clearly inferring to her mood adjustments through various chemical substances. Right. Well, I'll tell her to hit up Ricky. I understand. And tell her by some, like, grace of God, I feel amazing today. So I'm... Probably going to get some painting done. Just hit me up if she feels better or wants to hang or whatever. She says it'll take her a little while because she's going to take some some aspirin, drink some water, get a shower, and just kind of like wait for the lights to not hurt anymore. I know the feels, girl. 
but then you can go into your your painting and your relaxing and your stuff for another couple of hours. That afternoon, like four or five o'clock or so in the afternoon, you will get a text from Jade saying, "Hey, I reached out to Ricky and he's not answering." That's weird. Okay, well, I'll try and hit him up then. And so I'm just going to take one of those, like, selfies where you're, like, with the slanty eyes, like, what are you doing? Where are you at? And I'm probably going to write that on the picture. Haven't heard from you all day. Jade's looking for you. Hit me up. Send. Just complete judging on your face. Oh, yes. How long do you wait? Not hearing a response before you do anything else. Probably only like 15 minutes because he always gets back at me immediately. Those 15 minutes will go by and he does not get back to you. What the hell? Okay, cool. So then I'm going to open up Snapchat and see if he his location is on on the Snap map. You will find that his last location was down by the Paradise Mall, which you know is a not a great place, and it is full of empty storefronts and you know a few questionable businesses. Yeah, that mall is dead. Everybody knows you can't go there to find like anything. But you do know there is a decent drug scene down there. I know. But, like, that's why Ricky deals with them, and, like, I deal with him. So I'm just going to screenshot his Snap location and send that to him through Snap and be like, are you busy? Question mark. Just straight stalkering him. Uh, yeah. It'll be another of your 15 minutes or so, and he does not respond to you. Is there, like, read receipts? Did he even read the message? He did not read the message. What the fuck? I don't know. Like, I'm going to FaceTime Jade. Because, yeah. She'll pick up, of course, and it'll be sideways, because she is laying in her bed and still clearly in her pajamas just kind of laying there. Hey. Hey, so I can't get a hold of Ricky. Like, I've texted him. I checked his snap. I, like, even snapped him. Like, his snap location is down at that shitty-ass mall, like, the dirty one. But he's not even reading my text messages. And it's been, what, like, a while now. So... I don't know what you want to do, like, if you want to get up and get moving, but, like, we could maybe head down there and get some meds for you or whatever and see where the fuck Ricky is. I assume that you've gotten up and gotten dressed and look very presentable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a great day. She is coming down off a bad hangover of mixing and matching. and So she's going to look at you and be like, are you? You high already? I mean, a little bit. Uh, you can clearly tell she's a little confused that your uh, preparedness for the outside world, because you guys partied pretty hard last night, and here you are seemingly okay. Because I'm a champion. Like, don't judge me. I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I... Fucking took that quick power nap in VIP, which is so embarrassing, by the way. Did, like, you hear anybody say anything? Were they, like, making fun of me? Because I would really, really hate to ruin my chances, like, with Carol Jackson. No, I don't, uh, the VIP stuff's kind of blurry, but I, I got home all right, so I guess that's good. That hot dude was there, though. Is he still there, though? No, he's not here. I don't know. Maybe we could find him again. Do you think he goes there often? To that club? I don't know. (sighs) Do you think they'd let us in next time? (laughs) 
I don't know, maybe if we get there early and you're like BFFs with that Jackson lady, right? I don't know if I would say all that. Like BFFs. Girl. Why do you think, do you think that like she likes me like that? Did, did she seem like she wanted to be my BFF? You were at her club and they had you come up to the VIP and you like practically skipped the line. Yeah, that was really fucking cool. Yeah. All right. So what is your deal? Also, wait, side note, sorry. How did we get home last night? Because, like, I kind of expected you to be at my house. Like, At this point, she was, like, rolled over in the bed and just kind of, like, uh, looking at the ceiling. I don't remember, but I don't know. Maybe we took an Uber or something. Hold on. And you can see her messing with her phone. I don't see any charges on the app or anything. Maybe, like, the bartender called us a ride or something. Huh. Okay. Maybe it was part of the VIP treatment. I love that for us. I bet it was hilarious trying to pour us into the backseat of an Uber, like with all these wings flapping everywhere. Like that would be hilarious. She giggles and laughs with you. And then we'll, as you mentioned the wings and stuff, she looks over to where her costume is also kind of, Less hanging up than yours is, but is thrown in with is clearly the laundry pile. So you see a hamper with just these two big giant wings sticking out of them. <laughs> Are you going to get up and get moving, or is this your day? Uh, is this your life today? Can it can it be my life today, and then like tomorrow, maybe we'll get back with Ricky? I guess if you can survive that long, it's fine. That's up to you. She's like, hold on. And she puts the phone down and you hear the rummaging through what is presumably a bag with little bottles of pills and stuff. A bag that you probably have something very similar to. And she'll pick back up her phone so you can see her face again. Yeah, I should be alright. I don't want to uh, feel like shit still, but. Okay. Well then you get it together and please don't just leave your costume in that stupid laundry basket. Like, you have to hang it up someplace, okay? Yes, Mom. Okay, well, you know, we worked really hard on them, and we have to wear them again, so get it together. All right, get your life together. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Just click. That's it. Super hang up. Do you get anything to today, or do you just kind of let the time pass and your art and your dancing and your singing and your generally feel goodiness. I'm kind of concerned. So I do shoot another text to Ricky that just says WTF and probably would text Amira and see if she's heard from him or like what her day is up to dish completely about last night, you know, like, hey, this is who I was hanging out with and stuff. Do you mention the hot guy? Uh, yeah, because he was all over Jade and that was so cute and she's clearly got a thing. So, like, you know how us girls are? We be talking about boys and stuff. How detailed of a description do you go of the hot guy? Well, super detailed because his costume was hilarious like and them legs like he was fit calves for days yes <laughs> she will hit you back with i think i might know who that was shut up okay deets she will go into some details about this guy he's got a real thing for the 80s clearly Makes sense with his costume of choice. He's like mid twenties or so. His name's Jimmy. Uh, he hangs out at the mall a lot. Which mall? The good one? Paradise Mall. Ew, the shitty one. Yeah, but you know, that's where we see him and that's where we kind of hang out because, you know, it's 
It's where Stan likes to go. Well, um, so I know that Jade kind of really wants to see him again, and she is in bed practically dead today. Like, her hangover is like the end of the world. Yeah, it sounds like you partied pretty hardy. Yeah, but, like, I feel great. I don't really understand, but I'm not trying to, like, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth or anything. But, like, maybe tomorrow, if you want, do you guys want to go down there? Like, because I still haven't gotten a hold of Ricky. Like, you haven't talked to him. I don't know. His snap says he's there, but, like, he's not answering. He's not even reading anything that I sent him, which is so not like him. Maybe his phone's dead. How is he supposed to make money with a dead phone? And if you're at the mall, then why wouldn't you just buy a charger? I mean, you're not wrong, but like, I don't know, man. It's not like he randomly got a girlfriend or something all of a sudden, and he's just like ditching us. <laughs> she breaks into a bunch of left. No, not her. He's uh, no, no, I couldn't see that. Did you see any girl get with him? I did. You don't remember the last one that like super old lady. She was like in her forties. Remember, she was hanging all over him for like drugs and stuff, and tried to get him to take care of her like forty-seven children or whatever. You don't remember that? No, not really. Maybe there were uh, it's a while ago. What was that like? I don't even want to remember her name. I think that we called her shit stain because one time she had a shit stain in the back of her pants. Maybe I just was traumatized and I just kind of blanked it out. (laughs) That's hilarious. Yeah, fuck that lady. I'm glad she's gone. I think he learned his lesson. Maybe. Like, you know, girls aren't just all that. Maybe. Um, if If I see him around, you want me to... Punch him in his face. Yeah. Not Ricky. Yeah. I meant the the hot guy. Oh. Um, no, I wouldn't really say anything. Just, like, tease Jade. Take a picture and send it to Jade. That's what you should do. Yeah, if I see him, I will, I will send it around. <laughs> Love that. You should probably, like, tag me in it or something. <laughs> you got it. I will totally put it up on the snaps so that they can see. Yes. Okay, well, I guess I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I will see you around. Are you coming down to the mall at all, or? Today? Like, are you going down there? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I was pretty much planning on being, like, hunkered down and hung over all day. So I really have everything I need here, but... If this fucker doesn't show up sooner or later, then yeah, I'll definitely roll down with you and take a walk around and see if he's like slumped in a corner someplace high off his ass. Possible. Maybe that's why he didn't buy a new charger or whatever. Yeah, so just let me know. Like, if you decide to go, maybe I'll tag along or whatever. Yeah. But you have to come pick me up because, like, I don't have a ride. I mean, you can always Uber it, but whatever. I don't wanna. Ubers are gross. Yeah, but like they're super convenient. Maybe I'll check. I'll see. Just stop with the pressure. Okay, quit pressuring me. Girl, I'm not pressuring you. Perf. I, uh, I'll talk to you later, I guess. I will send you all of the pictures. Yeah, definitely. If you do go down there and if you do. See, Ricky, like I said, punch him in his face for me, okay? Got it, right in the face. Yep. Okay, love you, bye. Bye. Are you letting the day go, or are you going to try and find a way down there by yourself? Um, No, I'm just going to text him, like, once an hour for the next, like, couple hours. Like, what the fuck? My snaps are going to get, like, more and more, like, angry. And his location never changes, so I don't know. Like, he lives by himself. He doesn't really have a roommate. Like, no one would live with him. His place is disgusting. So I'm, like, his best friend, and I kind of feel obligated. But, like, I don't want to go searching for him. I don't really need anything at that dirty mall. 
just wait till Amira texts me and see like if she's going or what. Cause I don't want to go down there by myself. That place is gross. The day will pass. I imagine that you lighten your mood throughout the day with your various drugs. Yeah. Especially because once I start to get bored, I'm going to start to get like higher and then like try and be more creative and see what I can make. Like a quick painting on canvas of just the sea of bodies last night and the cool lights in the club. It's not a lot of detail because I need time for that. It's just like, you know, quick colors. A scale of one to ten, how fucked up do you get? Probably like a seven because I'm home alone and I'm bored and there's nobody talking to me. So yeah, starts to get lonely and I'm like, fuck that. I'm just going to get high. Sure. So the next morning. Oh man, why does the sun always come up in the morning? <laughs> you will notice that you do not feel hung over either. What? The fuck? You got pretty fucked up, and you wake up in the morning. You probably feel a little weird because you're not hungover, but you don't feel hungover in any way, shape, or form. A girl could get used to this. Do I have an appetite? Like, I never have an appetite. Do you never have an appetite because you're high and sickly feeling, or is it just you don't eat breakfast? Yeah, because I'm usually pretty high and I wake up feeling shitty. If on a day where you are not hungover, you would have an appetite, you have an appetite. Like, you could go for something to eat. Holy shit. Okay, two days in a row. Yeah, I'm going out for breakfast, I think, this morning. I'm not staying in again. And it's still too early. I know that, like, Jade is not up yet. So, yeah, I'm going to get a shower, get myself together, and go to, like, the little corner breakfast shop. Breakfast is excellent. They are surprised to see you here this morning. They make pleasant small talk and are happy to to serve you. So I'm definitely checking my social media, checking on Ricky. Like, has he posted anything? He obviously hasn't responded to anything, right? He has made a blanket post of, sorry, people, I got a little busy, but doesn't give any actual details. Has he messaged me back? No. Okay. Has his snap location changed? Slightly. Like, it's still in that area, but it's now, like, instead of at the mall, it's, like, across the street or, like, down a little bit from there. What the fuck? Uh, Okay. So did Amira end up sending like any pictures? Did she go to that like mall and see that um, hot guy Jimmy again or no? She did not send any pictures of Jimmy, but she did leave you a message about that. It's like, yeah, I haven't seen Ricky, but there was – a couple of people missing from the the mall last night. I don't know where they went, but they might be looking for him too. You know, he does a little dealing around here. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna ask her if like her and Stan are holding. Because like I didn't plan on being in my house for like days, just like one day. We got a little we can spare. You can also look and see if we can find this other guy that's dealing. Yeah, let's um, let's hook up for sure. Because I need to get some stuff and I kind of want to do. I'm curious as to where my fucking friend is. Like, he never blows me off like this. This is bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. Did you see his post? Yeah, what does that even mean? I don't know. Yeah, I'm like... It blows my mind. I'm like his best friend, best customer, all that. Well, I don't know about all that. 
I mean, like, I'm a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we, I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this. I don't want to be like a hovering, like stalkery, like girlfriend. That's not, not none of those things, but like for real. It's just weird when you talk to somebody every day and like they can't even give you the common courtesy to hit you back. Like he's clearly not in the hospital. So like he should be fine. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's weird, but you know. Whatever. Fucking idiots. So do you want to get together? Cause like I need to hook up. So either like we, you and me get together like at your place or something, or yeah, if you want to go down to like this mall, you can introduce me to bro. Cause you know, I can't not. Sure. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a field trip. Uh, do you want to come get me or do I have to take a dirty Uber and meet you there? Oh, uh, I guess I can come get you. Yes. So I just tell her where I am, the name of the little breakfast spot, but she knows it. A 24 hour breakfast and we've been here late at night. <laughs> A little bit of time will go by, and she will show up to pick you up. And, of course, I'll offer to buy her food if she's hungry at all. And you guys will have lunch or whatever, and you will come down to the... But you will come down to the mall. And this mall is, is not great, but here it is. Walking around, you're going to see... A lot of people you're sort of familiar with, which could possibly even be your future, as it is people who are homeless or in various stages of homelessness, people who are on drugs, looking to score drugs or something along those lines. Walking around a little bit, you're going to see that there are some businesses open. Uh, you will see that there are a lot of businesses that are closed. You will notice near the food court on the upper level. It's usually down in that area is where a lot of the bigger drug folk hang out. You'll notice that they are avoiding a certain area where it's just across over by a storefront that is long since abandoned that usually there are people hanging out in front of, but for a while they're not. Do I see any of the drug dealers that I know? Like, anybody that I used to cop from, but then, like, don't because I buy from Ricky. Looking around, you don't see anybody that you're used to buying from, but you see a couple of people that are mid-using, have just used, or are about to use. So there's obviously a lot of drugs around here that you can kind of see. Okay, well, then I'll just, like... Ask Amira, like, who they've been copping from, and I'll just, like, buy with her. She'll go up to one of the guys. You can see him. He's got his sleeve rolled up. He's got a tie around his wrist, and he's getting ready. And she'll go up to him and ask, like, hey, where are you, uh, where are you scoring from? He'll look back to her. He's like, there's, it's been a little tight around here. I, I haven't seen anybody for, like, Two days, all right? So this is mine. Leave me alone. Go find your own. Yeah, what the fuck? That's what I'm trying to do. Rude. None of the guys have been around here selling. It's been it's been dry. I don't know what's been going on, but I know that I got what's mine, and that, uh, that's how it's going to stay. All right, cool. Sweet. Well, that's a bummer. Like, how close am I to this empty area? As close as you want to be, really. I just want to, like, walk through it, you know, because there's probably a bathroom. I'm going to go, like, check out the bathrooms. As you get close to that area, Mayor's going to kind of grab your arm. It's like, ah, there was... All right, look, I know you don't come around here often, but they found a dead body over there. Okay, like, why would that even surprise you? Look, half of these people here are dead anyway. No, because, like, his head was, like, twisted all the way around dead. 
What the fuck? Yeah, right? Ew. Uh, yeah, that's why nobody wants to squat over here. Uh, how does that even happen? I don't know. Weird shit happens sometimes. Yeah, and I'm just like looking up, trying to figure out like if someone could have falling, fallen off of like the upstairs, and like what would you even twist your head like that on? I don't know. It was it was weird, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Do I see anyone that is like actively making drug deals? You see somebody that looks like they're trying to find a spot to use and in their preparation, somebody else has come up and they're having a conversation, but unless you want to go over there or wait, it's kind of hard to see whether or not there's going to be an actual transaction there. Yeah. I'm just kind of going to wait and watch because, you know, I don't want to interrupt something. I just want to see. And after a minute or two of the one guy getting kind of agitated. You've probably seen this look in some of your other friends when they're withdrawing pretty hard. Mm -hmm. He does pull out some money and hand it to the guy. And the guy pulls a little bit of his supply and breaks him off a piece. The dude that paid him just fucking ups and runs off. Find his own little space to, to do what he wants to do. So it was like clearly personal stash. Yeah, like clearly this dude had his own stuff, but whatever the other guy offered him was probably way more than what it was worth. Amira, what the fuck is up with this place? Like, I thought you copped down here all the time and it is dry as hell. I don't know. This is weird. Like, I usually get stuff down here pretty easily. Like, even if there's nobody that's that's really pushing, like the... Everybody seems kind of happy to, to sell, but I haven't seen anybody dealing around here past two, three days. What the fuck? I'm just going to open up my phone, open up my chat, snap map, and see where the fuck Ricky is. Looking at your snap map again, you're going to see that his phone has not updated since the last time it had made that post, and you got the idea where he was. Okay. Well, then, fine. I'm going to screenshot me being close as hell to, like, where he's at mm -hmm. and send it to him. And I'm, like, coming to get you. And then I start going for a hike. Come on, Amira. Let's, like, go find this fucking idiot. What time of the day do you think this is? Well, because she didn't really get up and moving, and then I had to, like, buy her lunch. So maybe, like, three-ish? So you're going to start moving around, trying to get closer to him. Kind of trying to triangulate his position through your use of the app and just kind of looking around to see what might be nearby. You're going to go a couple of blocks away from the mall, and you're going to see... It's like an old restaurant that is currently closed, but like it was closed down. The windows are all blacked out and covered up. Do you have questions about it? There's no Wi-Fi in the area, obviously. I don't need Wi-Fi. I have a bomb-ass plan. Is there a sign on the door that said it was closed for bugs? Because if so, I'm not going in there. There is not any kind of signs of why it is closed. There's no, like, public health ordinance or anything like that. But he's, like, in there? That's what it looks like going by your snap map. At the very least, that is the last place that he posted this update from. So there could be anybody or anything in there. All right. I'm just going to kind of stand on the street smoking a cigarette just, like, watching the building for a little bit to see if there's anybody coming or going, you know, I want to stand in like the alley across the street, you know, with Amira and make sure she knows that we're on a stakeout girl. So it's like spy shit. 
Yes. Keep your shit together. All right. Just like look busy, smoke or something like dick around on your phone. She'll smoke, fill out her phone and she will text you. Why are we doing spy shit? To find this idiot, Ricky, like if the whole world is dry, we can't be too. You're right. But like, I don't know. It's weird. I think the cops are in the area shutting things down. Maybe he got picked up. Then why would his snap say that he is in this shitty restaurant? What if it was a sting? Cops used it to get him. They wouldn't leave him in there. His phone would be on and it would be showing that he was in fucking county. Well, I don't know. I'm just, I got ideas and I'm starting to, to come down a bit and I'm running a little dry. So. Exactly. So chill. Just look. Do you see anybody going in or out of that building? Like in the couple of minutes that you guys are hanging out here, you don't see me going in or out. Well, that's shitty. I don't want to just like run up in some like fucking meth house or something. I mean, should we try the door? We're going to knock for sure. We're definitely going to knock. Do you want to do it? Do you want to knock? And I'll just like stand behind Joe. I mean, I guess I guess we could go together and see about getting in there. Yeah, but like you're better at that than me. Usually, you can you can talk to people and you know what to say. Like I don't know a lot of these people. Like, and it's probably somebody you know. You hang out down here all the time. Like it'll be fine. Yeah, but if it's Ricky, like you're his best friend. You said he was his best friend. Right. If it's Ricky, I'll punch him in the face. But if it's not Ricky, then you have to talk to him. All right, I, I I guess. Are you going to stay and watch, or are you going to go with? I'm going to go with her. I'm just going to stand, like, behind her. She'll creep across the street, which you don't really need to do, because this is a super busy part of town in the middle of the afternoon. And You look so obvious. But she'll come up to the front door and she'll try to look past some of the blacking out of the windows. Looks like maybe the paint chipped in a corner or something. Trying to look in. It's dark inside. She can't see. And she goes and she tries the door. It is obviously locked. Like, knock. Bitch. Duh. Yeah, all right. Hold on. And then she knocks. Fairly enthusiastically. Don't make it sound like you're the cops. Ugh, fuck. Cops don't knock around here. They just kick in the door. A minute or two will go by, and then she'll knock a little louder, and she will yell Ricky's name. Somewhere deep inside, you can hear the slightest bit of movement of something in there. Might be somebody hiding, maybe somebody rolling over. May just be that something in the building has fallen over. So I'm just going to start yelling, like, Ricky, you fucking asshole, open up. You hang out out here for a few minutes? Just kind of going around the building yelling his name? Do the yell. I'm going to, like, walk all the way to the back. I'm going to see if there's a back door, and I'm just going to, like, start kicking it. I assume you leave a mirror there, or are you taking her with you? She's a grown-up. If she chooses to follow me... I'm starting to get pissed. And I know she wants her shit, so she should be coming with me. She will go with you, and she will go around. You guys will come to the back door. This one is also locked and is actually kind of boarded up. But as you bang on it, you will hear the sound of movement inside get louder. You will hear somebody come over to the door, and you will hear a very muffled voice tell you to go away. No, open the fucking door, okay? The door will do one of those chain opens, where it opens a little bit, but there's like a, a sliding chain on it, and it is a very shiny new lock that you can see, because it doesn't match the rest of the decorum. And looking out from inside the darkness is a very tired-looking Ricky. His hair is all a mess, and He's there, and he's wearing clothes you probably last seen him in. You asshole. I've been looking all over for you. What the fuck? I just want to punch you in your face, so open the fucking door. Can't. I'm not allowed. 
What do you mean you're not allowed? What kind of bullshit is that? Who tells Ricky what the fuck he can and can't do? And you can see him looking back over his shoulder into the building. I can't tell you. I'm not allowed. I can't. I shouldn't even be talking to you right now. You should go away. Uh, no, because I hired you first. You're supposed to be my like bodyguard or whatever. And instead, here I am busting down doors on some like busted ass old fucking Mexican restaurant. Like, just to save your dumbass. Let's go. Fine. Everything's fine. You should leave. It's not fine because you haven't been answering me for like two days. Fine. Is that all you want? I'm going to pull out this one. Listen, Jitbag, don't be like smart, okay? You know all of the things that I want, okay? So, me and Amira, we need fixed. And I need your dumbass for something. I. I'll shut the door. You will hear the sounds of moving around. You'll hear a bag unzip, some rooting. And then he will open the door back up, and he will press a Ziploc baggie of various drugs out to you. Here, we'll catch up later. Like, really? Ricky, answer me. Seriously. He is obviously scared of something. And doesn't want to upset somebody. I don't know if you know if he has anybody in his life that would be like someone he would hide from. You know, like if he's got a a father or a brother or somebody that he's dealt to that is pissed off and that like gang or crime connections. But he is very worried and he is earnestly trying to get you to go away for your own safety from what you can judge. All right, listen, asshole, like, I don't know what the fuck you're doing or what you have going on right now or why you're acting like a scared little bitch, okay? But maybe you should turn your fucking location off on your phone if you don't want people to find you, idiot. He looks a little defeated. He's like, ah, fuck. Yeah, you're right, I should. And then he pulls out his phone and begins to turn it off. But you better fucking answer me, because bet I will... F- find you no matter where you go okay this is just ridiculous like you're supposed to be my best friends like i have some things going on right now and i can't really talk to anybody clearly when is this going to be over i don't know but i'll I'll talk to you when i'm allowed oh no fucking text me at least once a day don't make me act like your mother yeah I'll, uh, i'll do what i can Seriously, Ricky, like, there's something going on. There's, like, no drugs or anything anywhere. Like, I even went to that shitty fucking mall with my idiot friend Amira. She's like, hey, I'm right here. Sorry. (laughs) But it's dry as a bone down there. Like, what is going on in this city? There's some some restructuring, and some people are going to be in charge, and it's fine. Okay, well, get it together. I'm going home. Text me. Tomorrow. Understand? Yes. Okay. Give me a hug. Can you hug me through your chain? Can can I get some love? He'll reach like one arm through to try to do something, but he doesn't open the door. Okay, love you. Dumbass. Oh well, yeah. And he shuts the door and you can hear him walking away from it. Alright, Amira. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here so you can get your fix. That was weird, right? Yeah, clearly. There's something. You think he's coming down from something he shouldn't have taken? No, he looked fine, honestly. Just scared shitless. I don't know. Some stuff can make you think people are out to get you and shit. That's why I told him to text me tomorrow so that he can fucking, like, you know... I don't know, like, get back to reality. He looks fine, though. He's done all that shit. He knows what does what to him. Yeah, I guess. And she's very obviously looking at the the baggie or where you stash the baggie. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm not fucking with drugs in the middle of the street, right? We're going to go home. I'll weigh some shit up. I'll sell it to you at Ricky's prices. That way, then, like, I can give him his money or whatever. I don't want to rip him off. Yeah, sure. And we can, uh, yeah. 
and you guys will head back to your place. She is very anxious to to get her fix. Yeah, and I weigh it all out, just like always, you know, and give her like the regular pricing. And I'm like, I'm just going to put it in an envelope for Ricky. Like, I don't want to steal from him. Clearly, he's a fucking idiot, but you know. He's your idiot. Yeah. Does she pay? She's happy to to do what needs to be done. Perf. So then we'll just like both kind of get high and, you know, text Jade, tell her what the fuck. She's like, that's weird, but does this mean you're holding now? Uh, a little bit, yeah. When, uh, whenever you can, you know, I'd, I'd like to, to help you with that. Yeah, come on over and cop. It's fine. Like, I'll be here. I'm, me and Amir are here right now. A little bit later, she will show up, happy to pay you for whatever it is you're willing to cut off for her. And then you guys will, I guess, party that night. Yeah. The next morning, you wake up. Did they stay or did you send them on their way? That's really up to them. Like, I don't normally ever just send anybody home. I make sure that, like, everything's, like, I have a little safe. So... All the shit's in the safe and everything, so they can't steal from me. Not that they would. They're my best friends, but, like, you know. Sure. The next morning, you will wake up. You feel great. They are sleeping somewhere in, your like, your living room on your couch. They are a little slow and groggy to wake up because it is way earlier for them than they're used to getting up. And I feel great again. And I'm up in the morning. It's about the same time that you've been up the past two days or whatever. What the fuck? And that's kind of what they say, too, when they hear you moving around. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't know. I've just been feeling, like, great lately. It doesn't matter, like, what I'm doing. I just wake up feeling amazing. Do I look better? Am I, like, prettier now? Because I'm a morning person? One of them throws a pillow at you. I'm like, no, you don't. Bitch. And then kind of pulls the blanket or sheet over their head and rolls back over. They are clearly not ready to face the day. I don't care. I'm still making coffee. It's my house. Doing my thing. I'm trying to be quieter. I'm not going to turn the music on real loud. I am just going to turn it on kind of like lowish. Get my coffee, take my shower, and then see if these bitches have moved. They will have moved a little bit, but not like fully up and about. But they will be happy to kind of move along with their day. You know, they got stuff to do. But, you know, you have the the day to yourself. I love that for me. Do anything exciting, or are you just waiting to hear from Ricky? I should probably do some laundry and clean up the house because, you know, when we get, like, fucked up, we end up, like, just making a big mess everywhere. And I would hate for, like, I don't know, anyone to stop by and see the place a mess. Yeah, and besides, you're up so much earlier, you have all this extra time. And energy, what the hell? So, yeah, just do that kind of stuff. What day is it because like I normally I have to go to that stupid fucking church once a week so like I just gotta kind of keep that I know that they have a couple church things like it's not always on Sunday so sometimes I might have to like go and show my face or whatever but like if no one has harassed me so far this week about any of that then I'm just kind of going to keep my head down because asking questions is how you get harassed Exactly. You know, it's not really my thing. You will not be harassed throughout the day until it starts to turn into nighttime. At which point you will get a text from Ricky. And it's just like, hey. Okay. So I send him back, like, a picture of a horse. And I'm like, are you alive still? Yeah, I'm alive. 
What'd you do with that that stuff I gave you last night? Just text him back and I say, like, I have this much money for you and I'm holding. I'm basically like a drug dealer now, Ricky. Sends you a text message back like, oh, okay. Well, in that case, where are you at? His tone seems to have completely changed. Well, I'm just happy that he's friendly now. So I just take a snap right of me on my couch because he knows what my house looks like like so he'll clearly know is that your usual way of kind of inviting him over i mean yeah if he wants to come over he'll usually be like all right cool i'm on my way or whatever he'll send back he's like i will uh yeah me and the, the guys will be over no no guys you know i can't have too many people here all right, what if we – yeah, okay. Give me like, I don't know, like an hour? Hey, just don't piss off the doorman again. Uh, that'll be no problem, I'm sure. It'll be fine. All right, and then I just like let it be and wait my hour or so until my dumb friend shows up. So you will hear a knock on your door. Okay, what the fuck? Did he sneak in the back or something? I'm just going to go, like, look through the people and make sure that it's him. It is Ricky, and it is another man in a nice suit. So I just open the door. Um, hey, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't know we were having company. Oh, no, no, it's fine. This is, this is Mr. Kelly. He's, he's a great person. You'll, we'll have so much to talk about. And he'll take a step as though to come in. Uh, yeah, come on in. Uh, Mr. Kelly, hi, Portia. You go to like shake his hand? Yes. He'll pause for a second, look at you, look to Ricky, and then he will also shake your hand. As you touch his hand, you will notice that his hand is cold. Not like freezer cold, but doesn't feel like a person's hand. Weird. It's not fake, is it? I don't want to stare. It doesn't feel fake. It squishes as though it's flesh. It's not hard like a prosthetic. I don't know. Some of them are getting pretty fancy. Um, it's fine. This is fine. Um, can I offer you something to drink, uh, Mr. Kelly? He has a bit of a smile across his face. And at this point, you notice he's a little on the paler side. Maybe he's not feeling well. But he'll say, in a little while. And he'll move to follow Ricky into your house. Um, and I just let him come in. Like, I trust Ricky and stuff. But I will, at the first chance I get, like, what the fuck with my eyes at Ricky and, like, do the point. Like, for real, he never hangs out with guys in suits. Ricky will get this and he'll, like, no, 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 it's cool. It's cool. It's very cool. It's fine. Very obviously, like, the thing where Mr. Kelly walks past you, you look past him, and Ricky is just trying to downplay it and stuff. Mr. Kelly can obviously see what Ricky is doing and he'll just kind of raise a, raise a hand. So it's a nice place. Thank you. I've been here for like a couple months now. I really like it. I like it a lot better than my old place. He'll go over to the windows, look out the windows, see what he can see of the city. Ricky, you can see is doing that nervous kid. One foot to the other foot, and he'll look to you and be like, so you you said you sold some stuff, right? Yeah, just to the girls, because you pretty much left us high and dry. Like, do you want to go handle business? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do that, yeah. In the reflected mirror of the class, you will see Mr. Kelly smiles, and he turns around. Do you just, like, hand him an envelope here, or... No, I walk into the bedroom and expect, like, Ricky to follow me. And he does. And then I shut the door. And I go to where my little safe is. And as I, like, I'm down fucking with my safe, I'm like, Ricky, what the fuck? Who is that guy? Oh, Mr. Kelly, he's the best. He's uh financial backing, like, to really kind of get things going but he needs our help and like 
I told him that you came by, but I managed to, you know, send you along, get rid of you. And then that I gave you some drugs and then that, and you sold them. And as soon as I told him that you sold them, his whole attitude kind of changed and he wanted to meet you. Me and the other guys, uh, have been kind of like unionizing, right? Get all of our supplies together, even them out. And it's just been a real rough, like two days, just kind of factoring. But Mr. Kelly, he's, he knows so much. Ricky, what do you know about a union? Like, what is that even? Um, it's where a lot of people come together to, I don't fucking know. People are always complaining about them, but it's like, it's better for the people in the union. Oh my God. Why didn't you talk to me about this? Like, cause he told me we couldn't. He can be very persuasive. He's the one that's trying to make you unionize. I mean, he is real smart. Oh my God, Ricky, like for real, you better be like all that. Cause you know, I don't like strangers at my house, even strangers in suits. All right. And I just hand him his stack of cash that I have. And I just shut the door to my safe. I don't pull out the like backup stock that I have. None of that. I just like shut it. You just give him the money for what you sold. Yeah. He'll pop open a little envelope real quick. Just uh, yeah, no, that's cool. And uh, he will hold it very nervously, looking from you back to the door out to the other room. What's wrong with you? Can you not? Nothing. Nothing. I just gotta go. Gotta go talk to him. Do you need to get fixed before you go out there? Like. No, no, no. It'll be fine. He didn't bring, like, a gun into my apartment, did he? Because you know how much I hate them. No. No, no. He doesn't He doesn't need no guns. He doesn't have a gun. He doesn't carry a gun. Okay. And I just, like, walk back over to the door and, like, open it and just do that obnoxious, like, out with the arm, you know? And he will go over to Mr. Kelly and he will hand him the envelope. He will take the envelope and put it into his coat. It's like, so she did sell it. He's like, yeah, no, that's, she did. She, she made the right amount. She, and he just shushes Ricky with a hand and then we'll begin to stride over towards you. And I have closed my door behind me and I'm just kind of leaning up against my bedroom door. Just like with that suspicious look. He will smile a toothy smile. I hear we're to be doing business together. It's it's good that Mr. Ricky was did something a little out of the ordinary, something that I wouldn't normally have wanted him to do, but we've had our conversation about that and now we have a new business partner that can come work with us. I don't know if I'm interested in business. I don't want to grind like Ricky does. It's not really my thing. Did you call him Mr? Because that's hilarious. He will just kind of smile. It's like, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be your thing, but you are, you do know some people that will buy and you are clearly willing to sell. And he gets kind of close to you. Like a little bit past normal conversation close. He'd be so lucrative. I could definitely supply myself and a couple of my friends, um, obviously, uh, at I get a discounted rate, correct? But I'm not looking to, like, be on the grind right now. That's not – I don't want to be, like, a scared little puppy like he is right now. We'll see about that. And he makes a sniffing motion, like a – yes. And then he is going to make an aggressive action against you as he goes to kind of grab you. I want to grab at my doorknob so I can get in my fucking bedroom. He begins to go to grab you by your shoulders, and you have your hand on the doorknob, and you click it, and you are both pushed through the door as he lands on top of you, knocks the wind from you very briefly, and then suddenly from your neck you can feel 
the slightest bit of pain, and then the best high that you've ever felt begins to just kind of roll through you for the next few seconds. And then you can feel your blood beginning to slow as it beats in your veins and your arteries and go from this wound into this man's mouth. And he makes a sucking sound and a drinking, gulping sound that you can hear from your ear as he seemingly is eating your your blood. But it feels so good. Do I even want it to stop? What the fuck? Worse than not wanting it to stop, you want it to continue. You want him to take it all, and all that he would have to do for you to want to give him your blood is for him to just ask. And this will last for seemingly forever. You'll see out of the corner of your eye as you're breathing heavily from this euphoric experience looks like he's got something in his mouth, something sharp, something pointy where his teeth should be. But then he leans down and just licks across your throat. And you don't see the things in his mouth, but you're just laying there. He will get up. He will have a small conversation with Ricky. The last parts of it are like, mind the door. And then he will come over to you, sit down next to you, bite his own wrist and begin to dribble some blood into your mouth. Fuck. Is it like good? Do I want this? You want this. The best stuff that you have ever tasted. Like, is it making me feel like super great? Like amazing? Yeah, it's making me feel real good. Like warm through my whole body. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Can I, like, grab it and, like, actually, like, suck on to get it more? Absolutely. And he smiles when he sees you grab and start to really suck. Do all that. I'm going to do the hold and, like, you can't go anywhere. Like, this is amazing. I'm going to drink all of it. I'm going to get so fucking high. This is weird, but I don't care. It'll go on for a few seconds, not as long as it felt like when he was drinking from you, but he will tug on his arm and he will pull it away from you with a strength that it doesn't look like he should have, leaving you there with blood coming down your chin and a little bit on your your shirt. And he doesn't look so so much of a stranger anymore. Like, now I know him, right? Like, I've known him. Not quite to that level yet, but he's definitely, like, maybe he's a little attractive. Maybe he's got one of those faces that just kind of makes him seem trustworthy. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, scoop whatever blood I can, like, off on my hands and then just, like, lick it. And he'll let you clean yourself up, licking at your, your fingertips and your chin. And we'll just look at you with a smile. What was that? Huh. That was but the first step of your your new life and your service to me. I don't want to be a drug dealer, like I told you. Oh, it's so unfortunate because you were so good at it. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. You are pretty good at it. Can I have some more? Not tonight, sweetling. Tomorrow night, and then the next night, and then when you're good. But I need you to listen, because you can't tell anybody about this, or it'll never happen again. Okay. And he looks deeply and straight into your eyes, and you can feel his presence and his personality just kind of pushing down on yours, that it would it would be terrible to to tell anybody about this. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No. No. Mr. Kelly would be very upset with you. I don't want him to be mad. And he tells you, I'm going to need you to do a few things. I see you have a bunch of paints. I need you to paint up all of these windows so that no sound king can get in. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I can do that. Do you want pretty pictures? Oh, he'll brush at your cheek 
he'll come back and there's a little bit of blood on his thumb and he offers that to you. We can do pretty pictures on canvas. It's just, it needs to not let any light in at all. I can do that. My favorite thing's the light, though. Then I can see. Well, just in this room. Okay. Okay. You want to get started on that for me? Yeah, totally, for sure. He gives you a big smile, and it warms your heart to see him smile. Does he help me stand up and be gentlemanly in his suit? He does now. His attitude has completely changed from when he first came in and was cold to you, but that couldn't have been him. That wouldn't have been Mr. Kelly. Oh, he's such a sweet guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I go out into the living room where I have my paints, and I grab my paints. You start blackening out your windows. Yup. Yup. 